Good morning, Internet. Uh, today is April 2nd, 2013, in case if anybody bothers looking back past this year. I am Shivers, or Aetherspin. This is my cat, Isun. Isun's being a little wily at the moment. He just came out of a crazy cat hour, and he just ate, and I have my blinds open, so he's going to go look at kitty TV outside. In any case, um... I wanted to correct something that I mentioned yesterday, other than my sheer number of uses of the phrase, in any case. I mentioned that this is going to be primarily about games, it's also going to be about computers, so it's the two things that I tend to talk about. <coughs> mm, sorry, my throat's a little scratchy. I'm not used to talking this much this early in the morning. Um, let's see. So gaming. Um, I guess I'll discuss what I'm currently playing, both role-playing, video gaming, tabletop gaming, just gaming. Video game-wise, I'm currently playing two games. I am playing SimCity 4, that is not the latest SimCity. I really don't like the idea of interacting with other people online in a game. It's one of the reasons why I can't stand MMOs in general. Um, SimCity 4 is a... okay, so it's not the greatest SimCity in the world. I mostly wanted to play it because it allows me to have a region where cities can actually communicate with each other. I'm building up the entire region myself from scratch. I have six cities currently up. I have not started a large size city. I have two medium size and four small size if I remember correctly. I would look but the computer's not currently on. I am also currently playing Trine 2. Uh, Trine was one of my favorite games the year it was released. I love Trine. Trine's really a callback to Lost Vikings, which was one of my favorite games growing up. If you have not played the Lost Vikings, please do. It's made this by this little-known company called Silicon and Synapse. Um, they renamed themselves to something important. Oh, right, Blizzard. Yeah, that Blizzard. So, um, the Lost Vikings and Trine and Trine 2 are puzzle platformer games. The idea is that you have three characters, uh, in the case of the sequel to Lost Vikings, you actually have six, but you only control three at a time. Or, no, you would have five, not six. There's only Fang and... I can't remember the name of the baby dragon. In any case... Damn it, I'm doing it again. Stop saying in any case perpetually. So, um, those are the two video games I'm currently playing. I only recently started trying to, so not very far in, maybe a couple of levels in. Role-playing wise, I'm currently role-playing as a drow paladin, female drow paladin, named Kinnett. Um, that is actually the game I'm going to be playing on Thursday. I'll talk more about that in a later episode. I am also playing a female elven wizard. Why are all my characters female elves? It's actually a coincidence. I switch genders depending on which character I'm designing and what character makes sense. Um, my female elven wizard is a very high level wizard. Um, she is actually a representative of two different deities right now and I am totally going over my three to three and a half minutes. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Tabletop gaming wise, we're playing a lot of Seven Wonders. Uh, Seven Wonders is a... it's competitive-ish. The idea behind Seven Wonders is that you are representing a nation-state that has a wonder of the world. Um, for an example, the Colossus at Rhodes, the Pyramids of Giza, you get the idea. Almost said in any case again. Seven Wonders is a great game, it's card-based, and it's really it's a strategy game. There's a bit of luck involved, there's a little bit of randomization, but it's strategy. The other game that we're playing lots of as of late is Lords of Waterdeep. Lords of Waterdeep is a worker placement game. Um, if you've ever played Agricola, or if you've ever heard of Agricola, I'm saying words that nobody understands. If you've ever played Agricola, Lords of Waterdeep is very similar, It's only it's D&D themed. So your resources are fighters, clerics, rogues, and wizards. And money, of course. Money makes the world go round. Waterdeep is supposed to be a city of intrigue in the Forgotten Realms universe. I'm not very familiar with Forgotten Realms. I mostly know from playing Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter Nights. 
point is, Lords of Waterdeep is a very fun game for four or five people. It's not as fun for fewer people. The idea is that you place things around, you try to achieve your quests. You are one of the mythical Lords of Waterdeep. Object is to get the most points in the game. Same with Seven Wonders. Imagine that. A game where the idea is to get the most points. I should stop this crazy thing now. It's been going on for nearly five and a half minutes. I hope you all have a lovely day and enjoy.